Today, we go behind the scenes with Matt Beckett from River Ray Films, who are filming our new digital concert series for our audience at home. I talked to him about what's important as a filmmaker and just how they do it. So the, so the, f the first thing is it's really important as an orchestra that, um, that it feels like a concert and we play as a concert, as, as an orchestra. So that's the first thing. So the performance is critical. Yeah. Um, and I think today is a really good example of how the orchestra have actually performed as if there was an audi audience there. And that's, that's really important. In terms of a film company and a, and a sound collective, how we then uh, bring that to the audience and get them to feel like they have an experience. Yeah. We're going to have shots and cameras that are very close and quite intimate alongside your standard kind of shots. Um, and what we're really interested in doing is, is trying to show those moments that when you're sat in the hall, you might focus in on a player or you might focus in on a moment or a moment of communication between two players or conductor and player. So we're trying to capture those human moments. That's, that's the thing. It's not only the music, it's about that human connection. Music yeah. is obviously about communication. Yeah. Uh, and if you're communicating as a musician, that, that's really when audiences really get, get it. So we're trying to capture those moments of communication. Fantastic. When you're planning to record a digital concert, what sort of process do you go through? What, what, what's your planning? So we're, we've already started planning for next week. So the first step is we take the repertoire for yep. the concert. And I've been working with Mike Seal mm -hmm. uh, to go through all the score of the repertoire put a bunch of post-it notes on the score <laughs> and Mike and I are putting all kinds of things on the score from the kind of moments that are really important musically to the kind of feel of the overall meaning of the of the piece to the background of the piece what did it intend to do and what does it now do when it comes to the concert I'll have Jack next to me doing the score uh, so helping me out with that while I keep cameras once we've got that repertoire together, then we design the camera shots around it. So we might decide, for example, with, you know, with a really sort of uh, beautiful Elgar piece that's very kind of uh, luscious and, and swooping, we might decide that the cameras need to do that kind of movement with the jibs or yeah. all that kind of stuff. So we try and match the camera shots to the musical m notes that we've made. Then when I've done that, I call everyone up and say, right, this is what I would like you to do, and this is the bit I'd like you to cover. We've got people that will cover different styles of camera work. So it's very much a design process in that respect. And then with a couple of days to go, all the logistics and all the kind of real headache stuff happens, which is my least favorite bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the fun part. Where we have to plug loads of stuff into loads of holes and work out cables and half of it doesn't work and you throw it away oh. and you start again and you eventually get there and it's all fine. Um, and of course, all the way through this process, I'm talking to the management at CBSO, talking to Stephen, I'm talking to Merga or whoever's conducting on the day. And we're talking about the overall feel and where it needs to sit and what audiences might want from it mm. and what they might expect. As you could probably <laughs> guess from the way I'm talking, I could talk for hours yeah, about this. Yeah. But essentially that's the kind of process. Lots of creative conversations that end up in technical problems and nightmares that we solve oh, and yeah. get back to the creative bit. Yeah. So creation, technical, creating. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. So when the concert's done, you've mm. recorded everything, how long does it take you to put... Because I, I heard you've got... How many cameras did you have today? We had upwards of 16 cameras today. 16. Yeah, so we have um, uh, operated ca cameras, yeah. around seven or eight. We have on-stage remote cameras that you probably you could see getting yeah, in your yeah, way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some of them have remote heads to move, some of them are locked. Then we have loads of those little GoPros, mm -hmm. um, it's kind of sports cameras that just for kind of funny little moments or, yeah. or moments that there might be something that's particular. Um, all of those cameras come together in a multi-cam, oh, and we're doing a live edit. So we edit it live as a guide. Oh, okay. So with the infrastructure we've put in means that we could stream it live if we wanted to, but we're not doing that because we want control over the quality. Yeah. So the, the live cut that we've made today forms the guide for the editor. Mm -hmm. And our editor has already started work. 
and it's only been an hour and a half since we broke the concert. No rest there. Yep. So he's actually already started ingesting all the footage. He sat right over there. He will go off to his hotel room tonight and the, the suite and start editing through the night before he passes it on to the next editor to continue. Wow. And we have three or four days of constant round the clock editing pretty much to get it to a first cut where we can share it with, uh, I think there's some members of the orchestra and the, the management and whoever else. Then we do some amends and everything gets broadcast this time next week. Yeah. Amazing. Enough Incredible. information? <laughs> I mean, I, I wouldn't know where to start. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, thank you so much, Matt, for talking to us. And we look very much forward to working with you over the next few weeks. Yeah, definitely look forward to it.